Welcome 49ers. We're here backstage at the ASI Big Event 2017 brought to you by Beach Pride Events. Covering the event are The Daily 49er, College Beat TV, The Union Weekly, and KB Radio. And I'm your host, Natasha Oberin, with ASI Communications Video Productions. We are here with Grammy-nominated, one and only, Jeremiah. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Man, thanks for having me. From what I understand, you are a big advocate of higher education. Sure. And I was just wondering, um, you know, how you really feel about that and why, why you feel that way. I mean, um, my whole entire life, you know, I've always been an advocate of just attending. You know, I feel like education is key. You know, it, it not only gave me um, just knowledge, but uh, I felt like being next to whom, whomever I was next to, I never, you never, you never knew. And I went to a, um, I went to a, a college where where it ended up being uh, where everybody, you never really knew who was next to. So it was kind of one of those, um, you know, uh, every day. Just going and, and getting to it was, was really the daily basis. Any advice um, for, for college students then, or uh, especially college students who are looking to pursue a career in music? Uh, you know, stick with it, don't quit it, you're bound to get it. Yeah, perfect. So just, so you'd say persistence is probably, is, is key then to really stick sure. with it and hone in on, on what they want to do. So what would you say that your biggest challenge is in the creative process? As far as with music? Yeah, with music. Um, you know, just fresh ideas. I mean, my biggest challenge is every day. You, you never really know. Like, it, every day is a new vibe for me. So um, as far as challenging, like, I love to make music. So it's not really that challenging to go in every day and get on the mic and just um, say what I feel. So um, it's just to, to remain, you know, consistent and just creative is just probably one of the biggest challenges for any artist. Um, so I always stuck with that. Yeah. Do you do you have any sort of um, routine or any any tips that you'd have to kind of get into the creative process for yourself as an artist? Um, nah. Just really, just go for what I know. Every day is a new experience. Um, um, if it was a, a beat or necessarily a concept that I've heard the day before, you know, or felt the day before, don't necessarily mean that I feel that way the next day. So it's kind of like. Day's a new day, and um, I just I'm, a, I'm an energy person, so I feed off my own energy and everybody around me. So that being said, is there any sort of song that you'll make and you go, "This is a hit"? Like you know, do you know as an artist right away when? Me, uh, I don't necessarily know. When I first even made Birthday Sex, I knew it was a great song. I didn't know that until later on, from hindsight, looking back, like man, it was a birthday every day. I didn't know. I didn't think about it while creating it, but. Um, as every song I, I, I do, I feel like if I finish a song that um, it's a hit to me, you know, that's just to me, if I actually spend the time and finish it, you know, if I'm in the midst of it or I have just gibberish, you know, like it might not necessarily be a hit to me at that point, but when I, if I finish a song, I feel that way about it. Yeah, so people all over the world love your music. Uh, when you are creating a song, do you really think about that global audience or do you create it personally? Uh, no, I think that just happened naturally, you know, um, to be able to travel around the world and people who don't necessarily know, you know, the English language, you know, to be able to go over there and they just love melodies and just um, got in tune with music that I've, that I created from start to finish. And, you know, it's a different experience. So um, I never know, you know, what, what sometimes what I'm doing, I just, I just do me. That's kind of what, what works for me. Fantastic. And who would you say some of your biggest influences are uh, musically? Um, coming from the south side of Chicago, I mean, I've, I grew up to the likes of, uh, for sure, R. Kelly, uh, Music Soul Child, Donnell Jones, Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson. Um, those kind of like people, uh, to D'Angelo, like I'm a hip hop soul addict, you know, so um, I grew up to that for sure. And I, right now I feel like um, what I've been putting out has just been a blend of probably both mixed with a little bit of hip hop and um, you know R&B. Yeah, and so what would you say the the future of hip hop and R&B is really going? Where would you say? Um, right now it's kind of crazy to say a lot of rappers have been singing to me and a lot of singers have been rapping. Um, so uh, when it comes to collaborations, you know, I I feel like I've been uh, been here consistently because of that just um, collaborate with a lot of rappers and just even singers like I don't know I feel like R&B and hip-hop is at a good state right now um, just due to that fact alone. Yeah 
And, and going off of that, is there anybody who you'd really love to collaborate with? Uh, I would have to say, like, um, I would love to do a song with Sade one day. Um, Erica Badu, probably just even to bring back Genuine and Donnell Jones, like, whom I grew up to. Awesome. And then I have one, one final question for you. Um, you have a really great style and of fashion, and would you say that your fashion sense kind of influences your music or vice versa? <laughs> I mean, just... <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, everything coincides, you know, to me with hip hop and R and B. They was joking with my Kooji sweater earlier, but this is like um I think it's they great. They say I love it when you call me Big Cuzzo. <laughs> but uh Big Papa was, you know, Biggie, uh, rest in peace. And he, he he liked to wear Kooji sweaters back in the day. They in the prime of uh my, I'm in my big Luther mode right now, so I'm gonna get to my little Luther mode again soon. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, everything coincides, you know, fashion um, and music always, it will forever be, you know. Yeah, something. it's probably all that creative expression then. For sure. Right? Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all for having me here, man. I had a blast on stage tonight. You know, hopefully y'all had fun as much as I did, you know, out there. And uh, I can't wait to come back here and just turn up again. Yeah, really, on behalf of California State University, Long Beach, all of our students, faculty, and staff, just we really appreciate you being here tonight. For sure, same here. Yeah, thank you. Hey. Thank you.